All right, y'all. So yesterday in Diddy News, we uh, talked about the fact that there were these uh, these notes and all this different stuff found in his cell when there was like some sort of raid that went down, and that this stuff is basically allegedly showing that he's been trying to sway jurors, he's been trying to uh, sway uh, potential witnesses, and just the public opinion using social media and his family. Now, Diddy's uh, legal team has responded to these claims. Those claims were made in a document by uh, prosecutors, and Diddy's team is basically saying that the feds raided his cell and took a bunch of privileged materials, uh, including notes to his lawyers for the upcoming trial. Now, if this were to be true, proven true, none of this stuff can be used at all uh, when it comes to him or, or fighting anything against him, like bail or whatever, because you're not supposed to touch uh, privileged information. He is allowed to have private things that uh, happen between him and his attorney that the prosecutors can't just come in and, and grab. So, according to new legal docs, uh, Diddy's attorney, Mark Agnafilio, says that on Friday night, he found out that the prosecutors were in possession of attorney-client privileged material that was taken from the sale at MDC in Brooklyn. He says that the materials included handwritten notes to uh, Diddy's legal team concerning defense witnesses, defense strategies for his upcoming trial in May. Now, Diddy's attorney is saying that the Fed did admit that they do have these notes that they recovered from a sale, uh, but they're saying that the search and seizure, the way that they went about it, violates Diddy's Fourth, Fifth, and Sixth Amendment rights. They are also saying that the notes that were taken to his cell and turned over they're also saying that the notes that were taken from his cell and turned over to the trial prosecutors in this case uh, may be things that um, they're going to try and use to keep Diddy behind bars, which, again, I told you guys can't happen. Now, the feds or the I'm sorry, the prosecutors have come out and said that is not true. They said that this raid was planned way before Diddy was even on whatever unit or whatever block that this is. This is just something that they do by protocol. They said that they take everything to, through like a check to make sure that none of the information is attorney uh, client privilege information. So they are all good. They are all go. They did everything that they were supposed to, and they found out about um, the communication on the three way dot or the three way calls because the calls are monitored, so they can use that. Um, they basically said they did everything right, so they're fighting back against all of that stuff. Mm. Now, yeah, why was Diddy allegedly writing these notes in the first place, though? So like, what, uh, yeah, that yeah, doesn't that like, doesn't sound like, right. Forget the, forget the raids and all that. Why are you writing these notes and leaving them around? For it was probably just things to so he would remember. So we, when he seen his attorney, he could you know give yeah. the attorney the notes that says this. I was thinking about this. But this, for this, who I'm, this is what I'm trying to bribe. Well, we don't know. That's why. So, so that, we, that's why. We don't know exactly what like how it was worded or whatever. But because yeah. what Diddy's uh, team is claiming is that he had this stuff separated. These notes were in something that was for his legal team. The feds are saying or prosecutors are saying there was a manila folder labeled fed i mean fed labeled um legal but there was also a notebook and an address book and things that were personal so they, they were separated and they went gotcha. through it but they did say that they took pictures of this stuff um like they photographed everything they went through these checks and whatever was supposed to be redacted and not used they didn't use and it will be redacted so I don't know, but they're saying that this stuff is personal. They took photos of it, and then they, they actually left it on the bunk once they took the photos. So nothing was actually seized, according to the U.S. Attorney's Office. Now, in other news, there is a uh, report circulating right now from um, a journalist named Trey. Now, this report actually comes from an original report for, by Lisa Evers, who works here in New York on a Fox uh, local station, that she did a week ago. She sat down and interviewed a um, former inmate of MDC Brooklyn that was locked up with Diddy. Let's take a listen. Did you have any interaction with him at all while you were inside? Yeah, we, we uh, talked. You know, he's cool, played ball. He actually worked out. He's had a good energy. How were the other guys, like, treating him? Like, did they seem like they were treating him with respect? They was groupies. They were being around him. They was like, dude would be jealous of another dude because he was closer to another dude. Like, if there was a dude that was making his bed for him or doing something special for him, even hate on the dude like that. Uh, Somebody I, doing your bed for you in jail on a Twitter is crazy. That's diabolical. But I mean, how do okay? So y'all know in like the prison movies mm -hmm. when you try and like claim your alliance to somebody, you do sm stuff like they be like washing people's clothes and like they get you extra like cornbread. No, that's not a real thing. Listen, man. After all we've learned this year about Diddy allegedly, that's calm. There's a lot of other things we could be hearing. Diddy you said could be, that's what? That's calm. Calm. Oh, calm. I thought you said something else. No, that's calm. Like, Diddy could be, you know, there's a lot of other stuff we could be hearing. Like, Diddy could be bending over and telling people, grab hey. a spoon. Whoa. Whoa. <laughs> Crunch, you, crunching how, munch, baby. How you go that far? <laughs> I'm just we just talking about making bangs. But that's my wow. point. So that's my point. That, wow. That's how that's calm compared to what, what we could be hearing. Now, granted, we don't know. I mean, this is just, a you know, a... a 
something that this person is saying who is alleging that they were locked up with Puff, right? We don't know if this is true, but if it is true, can't somebody making your bed just be harmless? Like, they just know he's Puff, he got money, they need money for, you know what I mean? It can't be harmless. Nah, not, 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 yeah, not when it's Diddy, because we, we've heard all these other things allegedly this year. So when you hear making the bed, you know what I'm saying, you start thinking about other stuff. Yo, making you know the, from making a band to making a bed is crazy. What does something special for him mean, too? That's, he, that's what he said. He said making the bed and, you know, doing, doing something, something special for him. That, that's what I'm saying, like getting him extra cornbread and stuff, like on the movies. Diddy had men on the street holding umbrellas for him, so be lucky he doesn't have men holding his penis while he pees what? in prison. What? 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 And shaking it. <laughs> what? <laughs> How you go that? He goes far. He goes Yo, all the way like with too it. too far. You took I'm the I'm just telling you where far. it could go. <laughs> Say that fast. What? You said penis in the prison in the what? No. That yeah. don't even sound yeah. right. Uh -huh. Yeah. <laughs> you shouldn't have said it in no. the first place. Well, I can't help how my brain works. Oh, God. Well, speaking of um, how your brain works, let's talk about some booty. What? So, Mike Tyson, remember? I thought we were talking about booty this whole time. <laughs> so, we wasn't talking about booty this whole time? You was. This Yo. whole conversation wasn't about booty. <laughs> <laughs> you telling me, Lord? Jesus Christ. <laughs> You really give unk vibes. Like the unk who still keep his E and J in the in the bag outside the, the liquor store. That's you how see, you I act. I got my Crown Royal bag. That is right how now. you act, bro. You need a little something. Yo, I'm supposed to be going into my next story. Go ahead, go, go, Dang, go. You give an unk. Yo, you going booty? You said booty. Yeah. So Mike Tyson's booty is getting Jesus. an offer for two hundred and fifty thousand so dollars. What do you got to do with it? What do you got to do with it? So there's a uh, there's a stream site called Cam Soda. It's a popular adult website, mm -hmm. and they actually spoke to TMZ Sports, and they said that look after they got that view of the of the backside you know Iron Mike's Cheeks on Netflix the other day uh, they want him to come on over to their platform and flaunt his bear behind on their screens um, they're saying that they're willing to give him $250,000 to do it and all he has to do is flash his little you know what I mean situation on the live cam for only one hour what yeah. you mean? You got to stand there for an hour with his ass out? That's what you do on a live stream. Like, girl, uh, girls or whoever you are into, they get on there, they're taking their clothes off, they, you know, having fun with you. They saying all you got to do is just get up, stand there, 250. First, first of all, I don't like them objectifying Mike Tyson like that. And number two, there is absolutely no reason for there, be, for there to be a homeless person in America. If people got $250,000 <laughs> just to give Mike Tyson for him to stand there for an hour so That's... we can see cheeks, there is no reason for there to be a homelessness problem in America. That's not, but that's Mike Tyson. That's not, that's not James from Jerome Ave. That's that's Mike Tyson. Yo, yeah. Well, you sound gay. I know that sounded bad. God like that sounded bad when that I said it. Sound no. I, just, I should have let it slide. That sounded bad. I should have let it slide. Put some star on that booty. Put some star on that booty. That's true. That ain't just any old booty. Can't wait to subscribe. That's a good one, right? I mean, wow. That's a favorite booty right there, right? And be like, that's Mike Tyson. That ain't no regular ass. That's Mike Tyson's booty. Where's the picture, Lauren? You got the picture, though. Oh it's right God. there behind you. We threw a picture out. No. Clearly, he wants right, right there, right there. That was right just there. with right the mess there. with Marla Rosa. It'll bite you if it was a snake. All right. Booty. Thank you. And that's why my booty is a little gay. Everybody's a little gay. There you go, Envy. Here you go. I'm, I'm there good. There you go. I'm, I'm good. That's the motivation you need to do Welcome your Welcome to the generation of the booty, do. What song would I play if I look at that? What would be the first song? Hey, I love you. Ass, 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 